In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit in DaVinci Resolve. Once you've opened DaVinci Resolve, this window will pop up. So come over here and select new project and give this project a name and hit create. Now the main interface will open up. To begin, we have seven workspaces. We have the media for importing your clips. We have the cut for basic edits. We have the edit for more complex edits. We have the fusion for visual effects. We have the color for color correcting and color grading. We have the fair light for audio editing we, and we have the deliver for exporting. To edit a simple video, let's go ahead and select the edit tab over here. How to set project settings in DaVinci Resolve. To set your project settings, come over to this settings icon over here and select it. Now under your timeline resolution, you can select whatever you like. I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 since this is a high definition video. But if you're exporting 4K, you can come over here and select 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. Next, select whatever frame rate you prefer. But if you are not sure, just leave it at 30. And scroll down under Optimize Media Render Cache and change your proxy media format to 64. Now scroll down once more under your working folders over here. Now these working folders are where your cache files and your proxy files are going to be saved on your PC. It's important that you know where they are saved. For example, if I hit browse over here, I can go over to where these files are being saved under my local PC, user, king, and videos. I can see them in this folder over here. So over time, they begin to store backlog of files. It's important that you know where they are so that you can delete the old files when you no longer need them. Otherwise, your PC can begin to slow down. And hit save. Next, how to import clips into DaVinci Resolve. There are a couple of ways to import clips into DaVinci Resolve. The first way is to scroll up to your media pool over here and select media pool. And you can see here it's saying no clips in media pool. So you can right click over here and scroll down and select import media. And you can select any video you prefer. I'm just going to select a random um, video somewhere. So you might receive this prompt telling you that the frame rate for the video and the frame rate for your sequence doesn't match. I would highly suggest that you click change so that the sequence can match with your video. Another way to import videos is to come over to file and scroll down and select import. And next you can select media. And if you want to import a picture, simply select that picture, for example, and hit open. And now we have it. Another way to import into DaVinci Resolve is to hold down Ctrl and I on your keyboard and this window will pop up and you can select an item and import it into DaVinci Resolve. So you can import audio, videos and images here. After importing, just double click on any of the clips to have it show up in the viewer. The bottom here is where we have our timeline which is where the editing happens. To drag a video to your timeline, simply select the video and drag it onto your timeline over here. Okay, let's edit. Kindly note that the blue track signifies video files while the green track signifies audio. The M here stands for mute to mute a track. So if I move now, you won't hear any sound on this. S means solo. If you have multiple audio files on your timeline, but you want only this track to play, you hit solo and only this track will be playing. I'm going to leave it as muted so it doesn't interfere with this tutorial. To watch back, simply hit the space bar on your timeline for the video to begin playing and you can also hit the space bar once more to stop. You can adjust the track height of the audio and the video by simply moving your cursor to this portion and adjusting it as you see fit. You can also adjust the dimension of any portion of your DaVinci Resolve interface. You can also adjust the height of your audio or video by dragging this bar up or down. And you can repeat the same process for your video. Drag this down or take it higher. How to cut or trim a clip. To cut or trim your clip, all you need to do is to select your razor tool over here and you can make cuts on your timeline over here. You will notice that even though the video and the audio were linked together, the cuts are affecting only the video portion. The reason for that is that this link is not selected. I'm going to hit Ctrl Z to undo that and select my selection tool over here. Now I'm going to activate this link selection and select the razor tool and you'll notice that right now if I make cuts it's going to cut both the video and the audio sections. I'm going to select my selection mode once more 
One important tool here is the snap tool. What it does is that if I move this clip and drag it together, it snaps automatically. But if I deselect this and I move this clip and try to snap it, it's possible for me to override a video and delete a portion without knowing. So it's important that you always have your snap tool here activated at all times. Another important tool here are the markers. If I select this bottom arrow next to this marker, I can select whatever color I want for my marker. For example, I could select yellow and automatically a marker has been created where I have my playhead over here. Now, if I move my player to another position and I want to create a different color marker, all I need to do is to select a different color pink and a marker has been created. But if I want to add a marker to the audio file, all I need to do is to select the audio file and you'll notice that both the video and the audio are linked. So I'm going to deselect this link selection over here and select only the audio. And now I'm going to select a marker. And you'll notice that a marker has been created over here. Another important tool here are the zoom tools over here. We have the full extent zoom. If I select this, it zooms the video to the entire timeline. We have the detail zoom that zooms in. And we have the custom zoom that zooms out. How to add and edit music in DaVinci Resolve. To add music in DaVinci Resolve is as simple as adding any other file. Simply come over to your media pool over here and scroll down to your media pool. Right click and select import media. And you can go over to your music file over here and select any music you're trying to import. I'm just going to randomly select one music file over here and hit open. And drag this onto my timeline over here. You will notice a line over here. This represents the decibel level. If I double click on this audio file, the audio is going to pop up on my viewer over here. To add fade ins and fade outs to your audio, move to the start of your audio file over here. You will notice this icon over here. You can drag it forward to add a fade in to your audio. And if you come over to the extreme end over here, you also find that icon over here. You can drag it in to add a fade out to your audio. You will notice this line over here. If you drag it down, it means you are reducing the audio of your background music. If it's a background music, I'm going to suggest you make it minus 20 to somewhere between minus 25. To increase the volume, simply drag it up. Another way to adjust your audio level is to scroll down and you will notice this icon over here. Select this icon and move your time indicator to where you want to adjust the volume. For example, I want to adjust the volume of this portion of this clip over here and select it. You'll notice that a keyframe has been created over here and move to another portion and scroll down once more and select that icon once more to add another keyframe at this position. Let's say you want to reduce the audio volume over here. So you want to move your time indicator a few seconds backward and scroll down and select this icon once more and scroll up again. and add another keyframe there once more. Now to reduce the volume of this section, all you need to do is to drag this portion down. And as you can see, we successfully reduced the volume over here. Another way to reduce the volume, if you have areas that are higher than some other areas and you want to balance it, come over to this audio tab over here and select audio, and come over here and select dialogue leveler. And what this will do is that it will reduce the loud dialogue and it will lift the soft dialogues and it will balance the background of the music. To add text in DaVinci Resolve, simply go over to Effects and select Effects and come over to Titles and you will see a couple of titles that we have here as templates. You can hover your cursor around it to see what it will look like before dragging it onto your timeline. And if I scroll down, you will see we have some comic titles also. Once you are satisfied with any title, select it and drag it to your timeline. To edit a title, all you need to do is to double click it and it's going to open over here. And you can simply edit the text over here. You can also change the color, change the size, change the tracking and so many other effects over here. Next, how to add a transition in DaVinci Resolve. Go back to the Effects tab over here 
and scroll down and select video transitions and you can see some basic transitions over here once you are satisfied with any one you can drag it in between two cuts in your video clip over here and if i play around this you can see that transition happening over here to color correct in davinci resolve move over to the color tab over here there's a lot of menus over here for color correcting but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to stick to the color wheels under the color wheels over here we have the temperature for adjusting the orange to the blue level of a clip you can also adjust the tint which affects the purple to the green level of your clip you can also adjust the contrast so as i'm applying this you can see the effects taking place in the video we also have the color boost this boosts the color of your clip we also have the highlights which increases the brightness of your clip we also have the saturation which increases the amount of color in your clip we also have the hue which changes the color of the subject in your clip and we have the light mix now to export a video in davinci resolve all you need to do is to come over to deliver over here and select deliver now the first thing you want to do is to determine if you want to export the entire clip or if you want to export a particular portion for this video i'm going to export only from this portion to this portion over here to do that simply go over to your render over here and change it from entire timeline to in and out and next thing you want to do is to set your in and out point so move over to where you want it to start and hit i and move over to where you want it to end and hit o and that has marked out our export range over here next come over to this export tab over here and we have different export settings we have for h.264 h.265 we have for youtube for vimeo for tiktok and other social media platforms we also have for exporting to other video editing softwares so i'm going to go back and select h.264 next give your file a name select a location i'm going to select desktop and hit save make sure the single clip is set and make sure that your video is set change your format from quicktime to mp4 leave your codec at h.264 my resolution is 1920 by 1080 and select add to render queue and come over to this right portion over here and select render all and automatically you're going to see your video being rendered over here once done you'll receive this prompt that says completed and that's it guys on so how to edit in davinci